newscast, Arkansas Today. Welcome back. Wild Woman is here, Kirsten Bartlow, talking about a new addition coming soon to Arkansas State license plates. And it's a duck that we've, you know, to me, when I see any duck, it, they're just so beautiful. They're so cool looking. Yeah. What is this one that we're going to see on license plates? This is the northern pintail, okay. and boy, they are handsome. Um, and we get them in the winter months, like most ducks, and they're one of the first ones to head south in the fall and they'll be one of the first ones to leave Arkansas and head back north in the spring. So enjoy them while they're here. They'll leave by the end of March, early April. And they go all the way up into Canada, the northern parts of the United States and Alaska and that's where they breed. Uh, and obviously again they, they are beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So uh, why did we choose these guys to put on the license plate? Well we hadn't had a duck in a while and there wasn't another plate that had this species on it. Um, they are quite the Olympian. Um, they will migrate at night. Mm -hmm. uh, they can travel 48 miles an hour, and this is the crazy part. There has been one that they logged traveling 1,800 miles nonstop. No. Yeah, before it got to wherever it wanted to land. So. They're tough little guys. So yeah. what, what's the distinguishing factor? What, what are we looking for when we look at this one? Well, look at that male there. He's got that white chest and that mm -hmm. white stripe that runs up his neck. Um, they've got a real slender profile, a long neck, and that tail, the name pintail, that points up. So Is that a female next to him? That, that, that's, that's actually a mallard. Yeah, I was going to say, that back, looks yeah. a lot like a mallard yeah. next to him. Okay, that so is. you see uh, that duck there absolutely beautiful in flight is it easier to tell with that pintail it, the pintail does help you identify it for sure so if you want to see them they're in wetlands all around in arkansas um most likely to see them over in the mississippi delta okay that's where they're going to hang out so and of course you'll be able to see them soon on our conservation yeah. license plate uh, and that's available for anyone who may want that uh we've got that information on the screen 35 yeah. bucks a year yeah 35 bucks a year and that money goes toward conservation um Students that want to learn more about wildlife yeah. conservation, so internships, educational programming, and that sort of thing. So a neat program. And Kaby, yeah. you guys do such a great uh, thing. Not only are you reminding us of what to do, you're putting it back with students and, mm -hmm. and, and making such a difference there. Well, we hope so. We want more of them to be nature nerds like some of us and want to get involved in, in conservation. You make us all nature nerds, <laughs> Kaby. Thank you so much for you're being welcome. here. We appreciate that. Check out that license plate, and, and, and if you're a bird lover, get one. $35 a year, that's, that's not, not bad. bad at all. It's not bad. We've got a final check of your forecast with Pat Walker when we come back.